When we talk about AI, we're talking about something that can practically change your entire SMMA where you're being the top 1% agency. Now with these AI tools that I'm going to be sharing with you today, I have seen tremendous growth in my own agency. It's not your chat GPT. It's not your standard AI tools. These are going to be different AI tools that are new that you can start using today to scale your SMMA, make life easier for yourself, for your clients, get better results and start getting it to the next level. So I want to dive in into these five tools and I'll give you a bonus one if you stick until the end of this video where I'm going to be sharing with you one that you probably wouldn't even think of is already here with AI. And it's been one that's actually shocked me, my team, my team members in terms of how good it actually is and what it does. So without further ado, let's get into these five tools that can help you scale your SMMA business. Now, the first tools that I want to be talking about are specifically tools for appointment setting. Now, when you're doing appointment setting or outreach for your own SMA or agency, it's crucial that you know how to utilize the best AI tools to make sure that you're getting the best bang for your buck. Because let's be honest, appointment setting is a task that is crucial, but it's also a task that not a lot of people like to do. Why? Because it's so excruciatingly painful having to find all the leads having to approach all the leads do the cold calling do the outreach do the you know messaging talk with people have a conversation and then eventually get them on a call right well you can use linkedin outreach tools and for most of the niches that you have with an sma as a local business or if you're you know basically in coaching you can actually make sure that you are having ai tools set up for you that can work for you and do the work for you all completely legitimate within LinkedIn's capability. So one of these tools is called Ulink. Now Ulink is a tool, I have to say, that is only available and it's only invite only. Nevertheless, if you click on the link down below, you'll be taken to a page where you can sign up, but you cannot create an account. So I'm gonna be transparent with you. This is not a tool that you can actually use unless you get invited. So for example, for myself, I could go ahead and invite you. So if you want to get invited for this, go ahead and send me a message on my Instagram you'll find the link all the way down on the description as well. But I want to make sure that you understand that this tool is something incredible. So for example, I'm going to share this with you. I'm currently reaching out to people and it's all doing this by itself. So I have a connector campaign running. I have agency owners as a test campaign running and it's currently sending messages to all these people. So it's sending connection requests. It's making sure that it's actually, you know, following up with these people automatically and it's all doing that by itself the only thing i had to do is set up my messages and set up my messages in such a way that actually people will be responding and as you can see if i go to connector there will be a couple of people that have already responded to my messages that i can go ahead and now reply to and the replying and everything regarding that i can go ahead and basically send them a message here so as you can see I can send them a message regarding what they're doing currently and how they're doing that. And from there on out, I can basically start to, you know, set them on a meeting. This has all been happening automatic. I haven't done anything. The only thing I have done is I've asked him an additional question when he answered on my follow-up emails. So this is so powerful because one, you don't have to send the messages and two, a lot of people will not be accepting your connection request. So it will be a big waste of time <clears throat> if you send all these things and people don't respond, right? You can better be off doing something else. Now, with that being said, this is an additional thing because you need to know what type of messages you need to send. If you send messages that won't get a response from people in the first instance, it's going to be really difficult for you to use this and to get a response back. So you need to make sure that you're personalizing all the messages that you have on LinkedIn, because LinkedIn these days is filled with people that, you know, are sending out messages and spam messages and bot messages and all these things. So you want to make sure that you come across as a legit person. So another tool that you can be using next to you link is HeyReach. Now I have to say, I haven't been using HeyReach myself. It's something that I got recommended by, uh, you know, other people, but it's something that you could pr probably also try out. I know that the pricing from what I know uh, with Ulink, it's about $50 per month. And with HeyReach, I think you're paying about, yeah, if you're paying, you know, on a monthly, you're paying 79. So it's a little bit more expensive. And, but it, it is a great tool regarding also the flows, anything that you can do with the data, you can find people, you can extract the data, create even better workflows. And it's a little bit more modern 
if you want to say, you know, for people that want to use something like this. Now, with that being said, this is a great tool. There's another tool, though, that I've been also recommending to my students, which I've been using three, four years ago and still up and running. And it's called Octopus CRM. Now, Octopus CRM is basically a CRM tool for LinkedIn, you might have guessed, that can help you also connect message and also visit and endorse profiles on LinkedIn automatically. Now, you can also extract the data here and it's gonna cost you a lot less than if you wanna use HeyReach or Ulink. It's basically gonna cost you 10 bucks per month to start with. Now, with that 10 bucks per month, you can only send connect requests to people and you can do auto invite, right? Now, if you wanna have the highest unlimited version, you can also build funnels. So that's gonna bring you, you know, set you around, you know, $40 a month away. So it's pretty okay, I would say, but it's not the best, the, the end all be all. Uh, so there are multiple AI tools that you can test out, which will make your life easier on LinkedIn and help you build out your LinkedIn connections to the point where you, you know, at least have 500 plus connections and where let's say at least 10 to 20% of them are qualified leads that you can start converting for your own SMMA. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to get into tool number two. And this tool is specifically also focused more on sales and everything that you do with your calls. So one thing I always tell my students is it's so important to record your calls. And I see so many people go making the mistake of just simply not recording their calls because these days with Zoom having, you know, a you know specific thing called the recorder. And then when you click on the recorder, you hear this woman or man say this meeting is being recorded and you get a pop up. So people have to click, they hear it. They're like, oh, why, why am I going to get, to get this meeting? So what my personal preference is also with Google Meet, and if you're using Google Meet or Zoom, is to have something that's AI based and it's a lot easier and it's free, right? So one thing I've been using is Fathom Note Taker, Fathom AI Note Taker, which gives me the possibility to one, automatically it joins my call to record it. There is only a pop up that the client needs to click. That's it. They don't hear anything. They it's being recorded. And immediately when the meeting ends, right? So not only does Phantom Note Taker jump in the call when I'm there, right? Automatically recorded. I don't have to think about anything. It also ends when the meeting ends. So it ends when I stop the meeting, right? And then it automatically gives me a recording of the call. So meaning, and it's also summary. So meaning what I get is I get a summary of the call like this. Right? I can watch the call back. I can get a summary that I can send to things. I can also have a transcript, right? So you can see what exactly someone has been saying. And I can download this specific video immediately, right? So without having to, you know, um, record basically, wait for the recording of Zoom to basically get recorded and then wait on it and then just, you know, have. 20 minutes waiting and doing nothing. I go to Fathom Note Taker immediately. I download the video and from downloading the video, I can upload it on Vimeo and then it's basically done. So it's really easy. It's really helpful. And what did it also give you? It will give you a, uh, you know, on the top, right? It's not showing right now because I'm in uh, Google, but like on the top right of your screen at always at all times when you have zoom opened as an app on your MacBook or computer, and you will have a pop up on the right hand side, top right, which will say when is the meeting happening. So I think I can probably see check, you know, give you this idea. So as you can see here, at the top right, you will see that you have like a, you know, basically a pop up of it. But now it's not showing because I don't have zoom opened. But on the top right, it will basically give you the exact, you know, explanations of when the meeting is happening. So when I'm in a meeting, I can see next meeting is happening in 30 minutes. So that way I can basically prepare for the next meeting. And I also know that Fathom Note Taker will be joining and that I will be ending this call soon. So it can basically record everything. So amazing tool. If you're not using this guys, it's free. You don't pay anything for it. So why not just try it, right? It's free. Try it out. See what you think of it. It's been helping me out and a lot of people within my team because I made a team account and now all my team calls are being recorded. So I don't have to ask my team members, oh, have you recorded this call or have you done this? I just go into Fathom Note Taker. I click on team calls uh, and then basically from team calls, I can go ahead and watch all of the calls and get an idea of what they have done. So second number two, second tool for AI, Fathom AI Note Taker. Try it out and I promise you, you'll never regret, you know, because you don't have to think about taking notes ever again or recording your calls. 
All right, guys, so the next tool that I really want to share with you is called Opus, Opus.pro. Now, op Opus.pro is specifically for you guys out there that have a content creation agency. Now, the reason why I'm going to be sharing this with you is because I know that there are a lot of people approaching me to create my short form or long form videos or edit them or you name it. Now, if you didn't already know, if you're a you know short form or long form content agency, when we're talking about short form specifically, Opus.pro is specifically, you know, uh, known for creating these videos and snippets of these videos within an instant. So one thing that you could do is if you have a video, for example, I have this video of myself, I can basically go ahead and uh, get the clips in one click. So I can say, okay, the next five minutes, I want to get the, the clips. And then Opus will go ahead and basically go ahead and get all these clips. As you can see, AI is fetching the video. It is looking for the best clips that might convert the best. And then from there on out, I will get all of the clips done within estimated 20 minutes. Now, I cannot share it with you right now because we're gonna have to wait 20 minutes, but you're gonna get all the clips. You're gonna get all the clips that you can use. And then from there on out, you can actually use them to your advantage because you know that they've been checked. I have to say some of them are not as good as you know, you would think. So you really need to check if they are good enough to be posted on social media, but make sure that you're using something like this to actually, you know, make your social media management or your content strategy just a lot easier and to fetch more shorts without having to snippet them out from a regular video, which will take time to do in Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve or whatever you're using. It will be a lot easier for you to have this as an asset to actually make sure that you're getting these shorts. Now, another thing that you might not be using with your content, short form content agency is called frame.io. Now frame.io is amazing when it comes down to actually uploading videos when you have clients, so you can gift them the uploads immediately where they can make changes, right? So what this entails is when you're giving them this, they can actually go into the software itself. They can make changes, make adjustments, give you feedback, and then you automatically, or your editors get a ping when a feedback point has been made from your client on the video. So you know exactly what you need to edit and you can move quickly without having to go back and forward on, you know, communication platforms, talking with them. You can just simply send them this video. You can say, give me some feedback on the Frame.io video. And then from there on out, I will go ahead and make the adjustment. So two tools, basically Frame.io and Opus. Uh, Frame, I'm not going to link down below here because, you know, it's, it's like something that just came up in my head because we're using it also for ourselves and these videos are being edited. But that's just another tool that I wanted to give to you as a free bonus. We're already splashing with the bonuses, guys, but we're going to come into the bonus in just a second. All right, guys. So the next tool, tool number four or tool number seven almost that I'm talking about is at creative.ai. Now, this is something that I've also been, you know, you know, referred to by some of my, you know, peers and some of my connections where they are using this to, you know, help get help with like a brand logo, get help with like brand names, brand colors, and all these things. So for example, you can import your website in here. So let's say for example, I import my website for success.co in here. What will then happen is um, the system of ad creative.ai will go ahead and look at basically the brand, it will look at the colors, it will look at everything that's needed. And it will give me a specific, you know, you know, on, on that part, like brand coloring, brand logo, and everything that is needed that I can use if I want to create any specific ads. So I can have this, I can create the brand. And then from there on out, I can start generating creatives if I want to do that. So it will give you an idea of, you know, advertising assets. So what I can go ahead and do is I can, you know, have AI generated ad creatives. So I can also have product photo ads. I can also have ad videos that they're now creating currently, social creatives, ad text, ad package, and all of these different things that I can try out because it will give me a, you know, all AI generated tools to work with. So if I go on ad creatives, for example, let's say I want to have, for example, a, you know, story size, and I want to be using this, and I want to, you know, work with that, then I give them the images, right, the headline. So let's say, for example, I say, you know, free training, you know, uh, learn how to scale your SMMA, or scale your SMMA, right, scale your SMMA, I'll note that down here. Punchline is, um, let's say, for example, get 25 clients guaranteed, because that's our guarantee. Call to action here, click to watch training. And then call to action icon, I can select, for example, an arrow, right? So let me see if I can find an arrow here. So I'll go ahead and do it like 
this. Now, they're asking for a background image. So that's something that, you know, you can basically uh, have here, but you can also look it up for them. So you can basically do, you know, digital. Let's say, for example, they give you all these stock data images that I can start using. So let's say, for example, I use this one. Then I can say, okay, this is a test for the video generated. And it's analyzing now basically the text background image. And it's going to be creating an ad creative with me just giving them th these inputs. Now, like with everything, when it comes down to AI, it will the, the outputs will be as good as your inputs. So if your inputs are become becoming better, your outputs will become better as well. But the thing is, if I improve this in this way, right, if I become better and I test it out, it will be giving me even better creatives. Now I have to say, you know, it's not until that point where it's basically that good that you can use it immediately, but you can try out things. You can basically check out if it's going to be working for you and for your clients. So for example, these ones, I could be using these ones on my stories, right? And it's given me like, for example, I don't know how many, like, like tons of different you know, templates that I've just given them in terms of like my inputs. And it's already giving me like tons of things that I can start using right now here and seeing here. And it's already so easy to use because I can just grab this. I can even run it as an ad if I want to. Now this one doesn't look good, but like you, you understand my point. I can start taking this, using this and start getting results with it for my clients or for myself if I want to pro promote it on social media. Now, there's also another thing that you can use, which is called competitor insights. What you can do with this is you can search brand competitors, right? And see what they are doing, just like you would with the ad library or with the Google Transparency Center. You can use this and implement it for yourself to see what other competitors are doing. And from there on out, start implementing the things for your own clients and take inspiration from the competitors that are actually getting the best results. Now, with that being said, there are a lot of different things that I'm not going to go into right now, but it's just an incredible tool, which I would recommend for you to try out for seven days. They have a seven day free trial at the time of recording this, and you can test out things to see how it will work for yourself. It might take some little bit of testing, but that's the case with all AI tools. So tool number four or seven or whatever you want to call it, it's at creative.ai. All right, guys, we've come to our last tool. Well, basically not the last tool because I'm going to give you a bonus one if you stick until the end, like I said, in a couple of minutes, I will be sharing that with you. But another tool is called Doplio or Doplio or however you want to call it. Doplio is basically a tool that can send AI personalized videos. So have you ever recorded a Loom video? If so, you need to record it yourself, right? Well, not anymore, because with Doplio, you can basically personalize the, the first part of your video where it actually changes your mouth, right? So for example, what you can do is if you go down below, you can actually start using this and sending because if you want to mass, you know, mass loom sniper video to people, you will be needing to make a lot of videos. But with this, it becomes a lot easier because you only have to record a certain part. So let's say, for example, you have the hook, you have the body, you have the call to action, you only have to record one time the hook, where you introduce yourself, for example, the body you record one time and a call to action record one time with a body. Once you recorded it, that's it. It stays the same. You can make it evergreen with the call to action. You can make it evergreen with the hook. You can basically change it with a tool like this. So, for example, if you watch this video that they've actually created, you will see that he introduces himself, right? So he recorded a video for the introduction. So he says, hey, name, this is my name, right? And then what happens is you will specify the background images. So you will show your own LinkedIn profile or their LinkedIn profile. You will type in your desired reading, what you want to say, what name, right? And so it generates it. And then uh, the AI voice model. So then your name change, your, your pronunciation changes by AI. And then it will generate the personalized video for you, right? So it will basically give you the video created fully for you. So you don't have to record every single video. You can do that for tons of people and they will never have an idea that you have not done it through AI. So it is a little bit pricey though. With a starter, you're talking about $75 per month, but it gives you hundred generated videos per month. So it's quite good. And I would definitely recommend, you know, trying it out. Well, there's no way to do like a free plan with them, but it's great when you want to send the Loom videos on a mass scale, which can help you tremendously because these days, if you're sending emails or even if you're sending LinkedIn messages, what I said before, 
it will be a lot more saturated, right? Than it was like a year, two, three, four years ago. So you wanna make sure that you're making a difference by making it more personalized. When you make it more personalized like this and you can scale it, then it becomes a no-brainer, you know, to actually, you know, on how to scale your business because it's super easy to use and you just only have to give it a few inputs and you can already start running. So Doplio, an amazing thing that you can do, like I said, it's, it's great in terms of like the email and all those things. You can basically get, you know, good responses from people. And, you know, of course, a personalized video will, that's not AI generated will always be better, but this is just a great tool to use and implement for yourself if you are doing currently Loom outreach and you wanna improve it by using a tool like this. So tool number five is Doplio. And now let's get into the bonus tool, the last one of this video. All right, guys, so the last tool, the bonus tool that I wanna to give to you for watching this video, and first things first, thanks for also staying it till the end of this video, or maybe you skipped it. If you're skipping it, I'm seeing you. But like app.rask.ai. Guys, this is a tool that's basically blown my mind. Now, I knew that AI could go next level and that it could do amazing things, but when I saw what it could do with rask.ai, I was completely blown away. And I was blown away to the point where I was thinking, this is like crazy, right? Now, one thing it can do, for example, it can basically translate into every language. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and created a couple of videos of mine that you know are in Serbian and uh, US. And these videos that I have right here, these are actually Dutch videos, right? But when I click on them and I play them, they have been dubbed by the system to, well, first things first, they've been translated. So this is this is Dutch. I translated them and now I dubbed it, meaning it's all in English. So you hear my voice in English. I can do Chinese. I can do, you know, Eastern European languages. I can do Southern European languages. I can do South American languages. I can do any type of language that I want, basically, with this system. It also changes my, my lips. So it can basically go ahead to give you an example, right? If I go to ras.ai, I can take a look at it and I can actually change, have my lips change, right? So for example, it goes ahead and not only translates these things, but it can actually change the way that someone is speaking, right? So this person now talks in, you know, Chinese or they can talk in, uh, I don't know, they can talk in Spanish, they can talk in any type of different language. And as you can see, his lips also change a little bit. So there's a thing called dubbing, right? Now you can dub it, but you can also do the lip changing and I'll just share it with you right here. So you can basically change your lip. So it doesn't show, you know, that it, it is you, right? It's, it's basically just, it changes it completely. So for example, you upload a video, select a language, you press translate. Once it's translated, it can dub it and it can AI lip sync. So it can AI lip sync from you talking, for example, English and to you talking, you know, in Chinese if you want, and your lips change to where it's Chinese. I don't know if you've ever, you know, you watch the movie or something and it's in a different language and then you hear the different voices and it's in a different language and you just, it's just weird because the lips don't change. But like with this now, it can actually change your lips. So it's incredible. It can translate the video, it can dub the video to a different language, and then it can change your lips if you have a video in it. This tool single-handedly has been helping me create my new program, the Business Blueprint Starter, where I had an entire program of almost 150 modules now having to be translated into English. And with this one, it saves me, I, I think it almost saves me 50 hours of re-recording all these videos because I can just put it in here, it can dub the videos, translate it, and I'm good to go and I can move forward. So guys, Rascal AI is the bonus clip. Now, why would you be using this? Now, maybe you wanna send it, you know, your Loom videos in a different language. You can download your Loom video, put it in here, change the lips, change the translation, change everything. If you wanna, you know, use, I don't know, um, if you wanna perhaps make a video for your client, you can, in a different language, you can can do that right not only to impress them but also to say hey i learned this language when you haven't so you can do different things if you want to and it will impress your clients and leave a mark on what you do and how you can actually you know make it better for them so guys, with that being said, those were the top five ai tools to skill your smma business this year now like i said i've given you a lot more tools to work with probably like seven or eight tools so 
Uh, hopefully you love the over delivering. If you have, I would go implore you to watch a couple of other videos of mine. Now there will be a lot of videos regarding SMMA. So if you're looking to scale your SMMA and your agency to the next level, then go ahead, view my profile, click on the profile, look at the videos, and then you go to the next videos and see if you enjoy them as well. There'll be a lot of valuable content coming up as well in the near future. So make sure to follow everything that is going to be coming out, watch the next video. And then from there on out, I wish you an amazing day. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.